Hello everybody, this is Adrian Torres of Ascension Soul Coaching. So tonight we're going to do a reading on Trump and the Mueller report. So we know now that the Mueller report is supposed to be released fully tomorrow, which is the 18th. Um, there's going to be a lot of redactions in it. So um, I want to try to so get a little peek of what's going to happen. So I, I've, I've read before on Trump and the Mueller report and the first said that the towers are going to come down once it's released. And then the second reading I did uh, said that Mueller, once he released the first report a few weeks back, that Mueller strategically um, involved different states in this particular case so that he's disseminated information to other states about things that Trump's done over the years. So even if he can't indict, them, indict Trump, as a sitting president that other states can and if they can't do it now they will do it as soon as he's out of office so but tomorrow Barr is going to release most of the report full report redacted so we're going to try to see if we can get a little peek about what's going on so we're going to do the first reading on mr trump and the question is going to be um tell me about the impact of this report, the Mueller report, tomorrow. Will we gather any more information? How will it impact Mr. Trump, President Trump? How will this report being released tomorrow impact the presidency or just Donald Trump? Right. I need three cards. Can start the reading. It's going to be interesting tomorrow, no matter what happens. Trump is getting scared again already. Everybody's getting antsy about this, as they should. Either he did something or he didn't. We all, as Americans, deserve to know if he did work with the Russians, did he mess with the election, did he uh, use unhanded methods just to become president, or is he totally 100% exonerated in this whole thing and there's nothing to prove that he did anything wrong. Whatever comes out from the full Mueller report, we just need to accept and move on. Uh, we all have a chance on it in 2020 to vote for who we feel should be the best president for this country, move us forth in a better direction. So, or whatever, it's your choice. But I just don't need to know. So I'm gonna just try to get a peek. It's hard sometimes to get these cards. Just to get an answer. Three. First card is Two of Swords. Two of Swords. Okay. Next card is the World. And then the third card is the Page of Wands reversed. Okay, so there's either going to be a decision made or someone's in a truce, stuck in the decision. Um, next one is the world. How does it affect the world and everybody else? This decision is going to impact the world. But it's an indecision. It's not a full report, I don't think. It's not going to be enough information. And then we have the communication card of the, I'm um, sorry, the uh, page of wands, new information. But it's upside down. So there's no inf no new information coming out tomorrow. Uh, something, it, the, the effect is going to be at a truce, no forward movement, movement, right? It's not all the information for the world to be able to make a decision. It's not a fully developed report that we're gonna see. And the communication 
Um, there's nothing new. There's nothing new to learn. We know pretty much what it is, what he's done. But the information that's going to be provided tomorrow is not going to give us enough to say yes or no. It's going to be heavily redacted. So, like you said, in the decision, there's the mask or the scarf over her face. She can't see anything. It's heavily redacted. All the characters are not going to be revealed. So the world's not going to be able to make a full assessment of what the report is saying to us. It's neutral at this point, which means not neutral. Like we're in a stalemate. I'll put it this way: it's a stalemate because Barr is in control and Trump is controlling Barr. And then there's no new information. Nothing's moving forward. You're stuck. You where you were the day before. Where we are today is where we'll be tomorrow. No new information. Unfortunately. Here, uh, I'm going to pull cards of when we think. I love these cards. Um, these cards are the Saint deck. Okay, So they're based on saints, but it's funny that I got this card again. So we're going to see when are we really going to have the news on the full report. It says May 15th. I was asking when we're going to have the full report. And it says by May 15th. Or enough information, I should say, to make a decision. So you're going to have to wait a little bit longer to get the real information, the real skinny. People are going to have to take that report that they're going to get. And they're going to have to decipher it with the information that's there. Tomorrow you're not going to know anything more than you know today. People are going to have to take it and read it, decipher what is in there. But by the 15th, we'll have more information to make a decision. So if I read this, ooh. Agony and abuse. Confusion will be done. Look confused. Because right now we're all confused and we're all really want ready for the answer to come out. But by May 15th, this is Trump. I said, what's going to be a pact of Trump? This is Trump. By May 15th, he's going to be confused. He's going to be upset. That information is going to really impact him. He is going to be in agony. So that's what I'm reading for Trump and the Mueller report. So tomorrow they will be released on the 18th of April and by May 15th. That's when he's going to start feeling the effect of the report because a lot more information will be leaked. Um, and he's not going to be able to get away with it. So that is my reading on this Trump. So. If you want to read it with me, you can uh, contact me in the information below. You can uh, email me at ascensionsoulcoaching.gmail.com um, or if you like a free